Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE's exclusive coverage of Samsung Developer Conference, live here in San Francisco, California, at Moscone West. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media, and co-host here, theCUBE's exclusive coverage with Maribel Lopez, founder and principal analyst at Lopez Research, good friend of the Cube, Cube alumni, great to see you. We great see you, each John. other all the time at the industry events, usually enterprise and some you know, uh, cloud events, but yeah. you know, we've been seeing each other a lot at these kind of consumer events. Yeah. Sounds like the consumerization of IT is happening. Big crossover. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't believe there is any consumer or enterprise, there's just degrees of you know, how much security, how much management you get, right? It's got to be a good consumer device to be used by anyone, so. What are some of the analysts' reports you guys are putting out now? Obviously you've been covering apps, so kind of set that yeah. up. You know, as you know, we always talk in the past about IoT, yeah. the intelligent edge, cloud, mm -hmm. and the role of app developers that are coming into the enterprise. Yeah. Every CIO has got a mandate. More app development, <laughs> DevOps, DevOps, it's hard. Yeah. You know, How is this helping? I, I, I've previously come at this from the concept of mobile enablement in the enterprise, right? And now it just seems like we're just looking at new applications, new experiences that cross boundaries, right? Is it at your home? Is it in a hotel? Is it on your corporate campus, right? So I think the role of the app developer is changing to be more uh, encompassing. I think the big news in, in all the shows we go to now is like AI and machine learning. That term is just everywhere. It's the IoT of 2017, right? Last year it was IOT, this year it's AI and machine learning. So we're seeing a lot of that for the app dev community. And now you start to see augmented reality, also known as AR in this yeah. space of Samsung and, and Apple and these new app developers. Augmented reality core, obviously from a development kit standpoint, big news here at the Samsung right. conference. The other big news is AR kit, um, AR core and AR kit. AR kit's the IOT piece. Right. So we've been seeing a lot of slowdown in IOT, for instance, I mean, everyone is kicking the tires on IOT, but it's industrial IOT that's getting the traction. Yeah. I think industrial IOT is getting the traction because they've been at it for years, right? It was M to M before that. Um, if you look at what's happening in consumer IOT, it's still an absolute disaster. So I think the big news of the day for Samsung, I mean, obviously we just talked about how AI was in there. We talked about how AR VR was in there. But what we didn't talk about is the fact that now we're looking at the smart things cloud. And this is the attempt to say, listen, we've got many different clouds how do we unify clouds as Samsung, and then also how do we let other people participate in the cloud? Because the real challenge is everybody has their thiefdom right now. You know, yeah. you're in the Apple thiefdom, you're in the Google thiefdom, you're in the Alexa, Amazon thiefdom, right? How do we get to a point where I can just use my stuff? Yeah, this is classic breaking down the silos Absolutely. in, the, in the, yeah. the world we talk about in the enterprise. Yeah. And that's been like a two generation initiative. But you look yeah. at the, the guests I just had on theCUBE, Mary Min and Greg, Greg Ayers before that, yeah. they're a different culture. They don't really give a crap about <laughs> plumbing. Right? No, they're producing no. AR games, they got they security challenges, so their development challenges are very DevOps native, they like. Absolutely. They don't really, they didn't sign up for DevOps, they just are DevOps cloud native. Yeah. So that world's one. Then you got the IT guys going, wait a minute, I got to support this new edge device. Right, I've got to manage it, I've got to secure it. Those yeah. worlds are coming together. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Your thoughts on, on, on Samsung's opportunity, are they poised, do they care about IT? IT care about Samsung. You know, Samsung's a big company, right? So it really depends on what division of Samsung you're looking at, whether or not they care about IT. What I would say, though, is that they're trying to make moves that can work across the board now, right? Trying to make a cloud that can be secure for your consumer things, but can also be up-leveled if you want to make it an enterprise of things cloud as well, right? The AI concept is really about just creating usability. And I think when we think of DevOps, what we think about is creating better application experiences that can know you, uh, that can respond, to you, and, and this is the whole, we talked about big data a few years ago, remember everything was big yeah. data, right? Yeah. Um, well big data is now machine learning and AI, which is the natural evolution of it. So I'm starting to see a lot of things that can be used across Samsung. So I do think in that regard they're well positioned. They've got a lot of technology in the home. Uh, they've got a lot of presence for the enterprise mobile camp. Uh, the IOT camp I think is a wild card for everybody right now. <laughs> what do you think about Samsung's chances with the cloud they have? Because they sprinkle a little bit of cloud 
cloud in there. Yeah. Um, they didn't talk about data at all, which I was surprised, the kind of yeah. inherently. Maybe it's a, a privacy issue, a security thing. Yeah. But I love the pr presentation about the kitchen. Oh yeah, Because it was the great. kitchen is where, and the, the line was <laughs> The family right. hub for the home, the right? The family hub, but that's where everyone <laughs> hangs out at the parties, yeah. right? Everyone ends up in the kitchen. But it, it kind of highlights this consumerization trend. Yeah. They kind of sprinkled cloud, but I'm not seeing cloud, I'm not seeing like we're bringing compute to you, so is that just native for Samsung? Is it a missed opportunity? Are they, they strong there? What's your thoughts? I, I think you actually started with this whole dialogue of, well, does anybody really care about what the background technology is, right? So I think we were definitely a little lighter on the terms and more about what the use cases were. Like, why do you use this? You know, they have semiconductors, they have a cloud, they have security, they have devices. They've got a lot of things. So it's really not about the technology yeah. as much as it used to be, right? What I think some of the differences might be is a cloud for what? Yeah. And they actually are taking the approach of we've got a cloud for things and we know what these things are. So I think they're well positioned in that regard because they will have a specific cloud that's not just a yeah. generic cloud. I, mean, I think they want to own the interface. To me, my takeaway in squinting through the, the, the hype is they want to own yeah. the interface edge. If you contrast, say, Samsung to say Alibaba yeah. group, which we were just covering them in China, yeah. compare them to Amazon, you'll see a contrast in strategy. Obviously Amazon is just blowing yeah. everyone away at a massive scale and they're not even in China, so yeah. if they were actually in China, the numbers would be, be off thing, the yeah. charts. But let's take Alibaba, for instance, and Samsung. Alibaba's an e-commerce company, but they don't want to be known as an e-commerce company. Yeah. They're heavily invested in data. That's front and center of their message. Smart yeah. cities, they're talking about, they have a big cloud that they're pumping out, so that's much different for them. They don't have a edge device. Yeah. You know, well, Samsung does, but you don't hear cloud, smart cities, you hear family hub, smart TV. <laughs> But, Bixby. But, but it is an experience world, right? And I think that's been the problem with technology adoption to date. You can't figure out how to use it, right? So the next big evolution of technology isn't necessarily about creating a new thing, it's about being able to use a thing. I think Injon actually made a great comment when he said, we use about 10% of the functionality in our cell phone. Why is that? You don't even know it's there. You don't know how to find it, you don't know how to turn it on and off. Like how do you just simplify what we have today? And if they can do that, yeah. that that was or used to be the hallmark of Apple, right? Yeah. And now people are like, well, even Apple products are kind of complex compared to what they used to be. <laughs> so how do we get this back to we can use the stuff that we already have built? You're nailing it, Maribel. I totally agree with you 100% because if you look at the big waves of innovation, yeah. web, 1.0, yeah. 90s, mid 90s, 95, Web 2.0 and then now blockchain and cloud, Absolutely. all the winners were re simplified things, reduced the steps it takes to do something, and made it easy to use. Yeah. That's the magical formula. Frictionless. FYI, That's entrepreneurs out for. there, simplify, make it easy to use, yeah. and reduce the steps it takes to find stuff, to do stuff. Absolutely. That's, That's the it. magical formula. Okay, so with that in mind, critical analysis of Samsung and a positive analysis of Samsung event. What did they do right here? What are they doing right? And where can they work on? Okay, so what they did right. I think they're finally trying to pull together all the different versions of Samsung and allow you to have a couple of things, uh, Bixby and Cloud that go across devices. That's right. Um, what I think they still need to work on is there's still boundaries there. It's, it's not exactly clear like where things start, where things end, and they're a little cryptic on the details right now. Under, so, the, under the hood. Under the hood. I mean, yeah. I think devs are here to figure out what's going on, how do I make this happen? So there better be some real serious deep dives in these dev sessions so that they know exactly when they leave what they can build with Samsung, yeah. and, and how does it work with non-Samsung things? Yeah. That's still a huge And obviously cloud, multi-cloud enterprises, you need infrastructure. Yeah. I mean, smart cities, smart homes, you need plumbing. You you need to have yeah. compute power, you need some storage. Mm -hmm. I'm not hearing any of that here. Well, maybe. No, no, I don't think that that was a tone that they were trying to yeah. take. I think they've been looking much more high level at if you're a developer, what experiences could you have? I'd also like to see more about how to help monetization. If you go to yeah. IO, you go to WWDC, there's always these big slides about how are we going to make money as developers yeah. by using this platform? And yeah. so that's something we need to see a little more of. I got my Samsung smaller phone, and I get to get the Galaxy, the big one, looking good. The screens are great, the cameras are great. The Note 8's really good. Great. The Note it's 8 is phenomenal. Device, yeah. You're the one with the pen. Yeah. That's the one the Note. Yeah. Okay, Maribel, thanks notes. for coming on. Appreciate you sharing your analysis. A quick update, what are you doing now? What are you up to? What are the key research pillars for you? Yeah, for, everybody's oh. trying to figure out what uh, machine learning and AI mean for them. And then what are the real use cases behind uh, IoT? So we talked a lot about industrial IoT. Is there anything else? Yeah. Is there IoT for GenBiz? 
We'll have to find out. <laughs> Mayor Bell has been on theCUBE so many times. She's practically an analyst on theCUBE here. Great to have you come on. Really appreciate your Thank insight. You. Uh, check her out. Lopez Research, the best in the business. Been covering the span of enterprise to IT to consumerization. This is theCUBE bringing you all the action live here at Moscone West. Exclusive coverage of Samsung Developer Conference bringing augmented reality, virtual reality, all this new user interface to the masses. All this, the reality. All the reality. Everywhere. This is theCUBE. <laughs> Data reality here on theCUBE. A new TV Cheers. show. Thanks for watching.